Hello bros, my name is Tyler and today I will be showing you Titans of Space on the Oculus Rift. This is a guided tour through our solar system and while it might be a little difficult to grasp the sense of scale on a monitor, it is absolutely incredible so I figured I'd take you guys along with me so let's not waste any time, let's jump in. Okay, so as you can see, you can use a, a gamepad, um, the Razer Hydras or keyboard and mouse for this. Uh, if you do use the Hydras, you can simulate the positional tracking, which is kind of a nice touch. So let's give this a try. Okay, so everything is shrunk down to one one millionth of the size. Um, you know, so instead of the Earth being 12,756 uh, kilometers across, it appears to me to be uh, 12.7. But it still really does give you a sense of scale of everything. So this is inc an incredible feeling to uh, feel like I'm drifting through the solar system and be able to look at everything. So the first stop on the tour here is Mercury, it gives you some information about it, um, the diameter across tells you the distance from the sun and the volume compared to earth. Also gives you little, uh, little pieces of information that are kind of random and kind of cool. So right away um, you notice the sense of scale of things. For example, you can read on Google the, the, you know, the size of the sun compared to, say, Jupiter. Um, but to see the numbers on paper, they have no meaning when it comes to the size. But to actually look and see them, you know, you can really get a sense for how tiny everything really is. are great you can see the solar radiation coming off the sun kind of drifting around um, the lighting is, is really good you can also um, zoom in so if there's a spot that you want to look at closely um, you can zoom in and check it out in more detail for the positional tracking you just hook the left hydra to your chest and push start and then you can lean in and out of the craft. Um, I actually don't have my harness for the uh, to connect the hydra to my chest because my girlfriend and I just moved, so it's still packed up. Um, but I mean, it's not necessary. It's not really a big deal. It does add to the experience, but so I can see the uh, asteroid belt here as I approach it. It's it's really crazy to. Um, feel like I'm drifting inside of that. This is the largest asteroid, one of our five dwarf planets. Um, we're going to have a spacecraft Dawn land there in 2015. I'm not sure if it's landing there or just going to orbit, but uh, it'll give us a closer look at that. The sense of scale is ridiculous to see how large the stuff is. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It's got 67 moons, and uh, this tour is going to give us a closer look at four of them. The detail is crazy. It's really, really amazing. So we've got uh, four of the moons here. The first one looks like it's the most suitable place uh, for a human base near Jupiter. Um, 4,820 kilometers across. So it's similar to our moon, I suppose. There's Europa. Drifting around these, uh, these planets like that is just such an incredible feeling. The first time I tried this tour, I found myself just kind of standing in the kitchen, just looking out the window for like 10 or 15 minutes after the tour. I felt like I needed a glass of water. 
it was just it was so much to to absorb. This is the most geographically active object in the solar system. It has 400 active volcanoes. You can see them there. Zoom in, get a better look. Drift around Jupiter here. Reveal Saturn, which looks amazing. Anything to do with space, I am really into. And I've never been able to grasp the sense of scale uh, until this, this tour. So it's really amazing. The rift just adds so much to, uh, to everything. So some information uh, on Saturn here. The rings are about a kilometer thick. Uh, some of the ripples in the rings there are caused from uh, different moons or large asteroids. Yeah, it looks like we have, to have a look at Pan here. So just that tiny little rock adds visible rings or visible uh, spaces in the rings. some of Saturn's moons here. This one's similar to the Death Star. You can see the circle on it there. Giants has the coldest atmosphere in the solar system. It's tilted on its side, 19 astronomical units away from the sun, 63 Earths, and 27 known moons. You can see some different constellations off in the distance there. There's Orion over there. Orion is a very interesting constellation. It deserves a lot more attention. moons are not yet well mapped. So to, to watch this tour on a monitor really doesn't do it justice. Um, I mean the whole thing about this is the sense of scale, which you really only get with a rift. But I mean even so this is, uh, this is some, definitely something you want to check out with the Rift. Neptune is the second ice giant, 30 astronomical units away from the sun. It has very active weather. moon it was captured by Neptune from the, uh, the belt there frozen nitrogen surface Pluto and its largest moon Yeah, like this, this is amazing to see everything in, in perspective. 
how tiny Earth truly is next to the sun. It's crazy to think how big the sun is. We're just this little rock drifting around it. The sun is 1.3 million Earths, 4.57 billion years old. Pollux. Yeah, like that is massive. From the constellation Gemini, it's 2,854 of our suns. And it's 33.8 light years away from our sun. Yeah, this is absolutely massive. is confirmed to have a planet orbiting it. That planet is 2.3 times the size of Jupiter. Supergiant, the brightest star in the constellation Orion. 1.7 million of our suns. It's 8 million years old and 860 light years away from our sun. I mean, a second ago, our sun looked so massive. And looking at this in comparison, it's, you know, our sun looks like a little tennis ball. Y. Canis Major is the red hypergiant, the largest known star in our galaxy. It's 12 billion of our suns, 10 million years old and 3,840 light years away. So it's uh, expected to explode the next 100,000 years, leaving behind a black hole. That should have uh, some interesting consequences. Yeah, this is uh, this is insane. Even uh, even with this guided tour, to wrap your head around and grasp how large this is is. Uh, it's almost like a far-fetched concept. It's really, really mind-boggling to try and comprehend the size of this stuff. This looks incredible with the rift. This is uh, it's amazing. So if you were to put our solar system next to this, I mean, like, Look at that size difference. You can barely see the Earth. It's just this little dot. that little tiny dot compared to that massive, massive star. The universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, it seems like an awful waste of space. Carl Sagan. Fifty million kilometers away. Hundred million kilometers. Earth's actual orbit. 
there now to scale. That is crazy. There's so much space. I mean, seeing the, like being down there and seeing the size of it, it looks so, so large. But if you look at the actual orbits, I mean, look how much space is in between them. That is crazy. Bring back that Polox to see how much space it takes up there. Doesn't even really affect the closest orbit. I mean, it says that uh, no harm done except all life would burn up and planetary orbits would be sent into chaos. But size wise, it doesn't look like much. And there's Rigel, which uh, takes up about Mercury's orbit. It would immediately engulf Mercury, and with a, with a mass of 18 suns, draw all planets into the star and would pull us all into it. Wow. B.Y. Canis Major replacing the center of our solar system. This star would likely reach as far as Saturn. That, uh, that's crazy. Autopilot offline, loss of control. Okay. Is absolutely incredible. I consider myself kind of a space nut and even for me I've never really been able to grasp the sense of scale. Reading numbers on paper is in no way comparable to you know having the rift on and, and really seeing the the sense of scale of everything. It's crazy to think that in a couple of years you know these could be in classrooms and instead of just reading about dry content that happened 50 years ago you could literally put on a headset and be there in a you know a simulated environment i hear people talk about how revolutionary this technology is going to be and i think when it comes to educational purposes it's really really going to change the game uh, i'm very excited for it i hope you girls enjoyed the video and like always until next time cheers Thank <laughs> you.